So thank you so much uh, for letting us come up here and talk and demo what, we're, uh, what we've been building uh, within our, what we call Area 52, which is a new lab that we kind of stood up within RBC. And our journey to the cloud is, has been well over a year. And it, you know, it takes time to get an enterprise agreement with uh, RBC and Amazon, but we, we did it. And then you know, really quickly got up on the platform, did some really cool things. And since then, I've been working really closely with the AWS team and Salam Consulting to build out some really cool tech show the value of the cloud really quickly in a safe way that protects our data, that protects our pri the privacy of our clients, which is fundamental to anything we do when we're thinking about the cloud. And so, you know, what we're gonna present and what we've, we're gonna kind of go through is an example of a chatbot. And the demo, you know, is gonna be two of the three that you see up behind you, but, you know, I, I quickly wanna just mention the importance of chat and, you know, RBC is on a journey and inspiring to be the digitally enabled relationship bank. And it's kind of a, it's something you hear about around the bank all the time. And I think chat, fundamentally, because it is about the intent of customers, it's about the intent that you can draw based on the natural language processing of tools like AWS Lex, the intents that you can draw about what they want, what they need, chat is a really valuable and important analytics tool for us because it, it, it starts to get at that relationship. And so as we go through this, you know, I'll try to point out some of the, the components of that and really highlight um, you know, what's special about that. You know, there's not a lot of, you know, of complicated pieces behind here. Um, you know, we're using four resource, AWS resources. We're using AWS Lex, we're using Lambda, we're using API Gateway, and the S3 um, site that you see here is completely serverless. So everything that we're doing, everything we've done is really tried to leverage the full power of serverless really use the managed services of AWS and get up and going really quickly. So we'll jump into the demo. The first demo we're gonna do is Max Mortgage. So not surprisingly, RBC cares about mortgages. So we're this is an example of a client that's been searching through the website and as a result of the affinity that we're building, we can proactively prompt them about what, you know, their interest in planning to move or to get a mortgage. So if we start there, are you planning to, are you planning to move? You know, the client says yes. And we follow up with an additional question. Are you, continue to go. I can't see because I don't have my glasses. <laughs> Do you need to sell your current place? The answer is yes. Yeah. And so as a result, you know, the, the navigational component of the chatbot that we've created allows the client to go and you know, explore a home value estimator. And everything here is like POC. This is, a, like I said, a completely S3 based uh, serverless site that's not even a real URL. But they go off, they kind of search through, and then they come back and like they you know, inevitably are gonna have other interests, other questions. Now they can ask a question like, what are, you, what are your mortgage rates? Now this is something that obviously people are really interested in. Now typically, this isn't something we've actually trained into the chatbot. So what's gonna happen? So the chatbot actually is leveraging some of the backend knowledge bases that we've previously created, um, a, a tool called IntelliResponse, to bring back a response. And this, to us is really important because a lot of chatbots, you kind of run into this, it's trained to do a few things, but if they can't do that, you're kind of up a creek. <laughs> I won't say that other word. And so, you know, by leveraging existing knowledge bases that we have, it takes you across that what, you know, I think Benedict Evans, who's a, a blogger, talks about it as being the valley of chat, and it, you know, allows you to kind of bridge that in a way that's still true to the brands, true to what we do. And so, you can, you know, you have that response, and it, you know, it keeps the, the interaction and the uh, discussion going. So now we're gonna switch to uh, the second demo that we're gonna do, which is Ricky Random. And this is, you know, probably saw this over the course of the summer. We were running an Apple campaign tied to, uh, you know, sign up for an account, get an Apple Watch, or get an Apple iPhone. And so similar scenario where proactively, yeah, based off the affinity, we can launch a proactive chat and ask, would you like to get an Apple Watch? And Sonny responds, yes. Are you a Canadian citizen? Like this, and so it, it starts to go through some of the basic questions that you have as a, to, to validate whether you were eligible for this uh, campaign. And so because we, the, the, the individual hasn't had a, can, uh, a product with RBC before, they, you know, they can, they're eligible for that. And so you know, they go off, they can in, in, uh, investigate the, the offering, and then come back and, and request to open an account. And so, when they ask that question, I want to open an account. 
we, we get them into the fulfillment flow. And that fulfillment flow, these are the types of questions you get if you were to go create an account on RBC right now. And so this is a really more humanized way of getting into those, those conversations. <laughs> this is an internal joke. Dave, Dave McKay, not the CEO. A lot of people confuse him. He's, he's a lead consultant with uh, Salam Consulting, who we work closely with. He likes to pretend to be the CEO. And so at this point, this is actually really important because you know, this is where you know, using AWS Lex, this can integrate right into our backend fulfillment systems. We don't have to push a client through kind of the, the traditional application process. And so these types of ideas really start to make it a more conversational, more intuitive way to get clients into our application flows or to provide advice and just make it more clear to them that you know, we want that deep relationship and we want to be that digitally enabled relationship bank. And so that's really you know, what we wanted to demo today, which is that example of you know, how chat has the potential. And there's lots of POCs of different chat solutions going on at RBC. But we're really excited about this because it was built you know, by the team from the ground up, leveraging the AWS platform. And I think it speaks to you know, with the right people. And we have a great team. Uh, we're wearing the you know, really banking cool shirts, <laughs> which we weren't smart enough to realize meant RBC. But you know, we got there. Um, but really, you know, we just want to thank everyone so much for, for the help and we've, it, you know, there's a gr big group, of, big group that's really done this and so just want to thank everyone and like, like a lot of others, we're, we're actively recruiting and, you know, if you want to chat with anyone ab about uh, the roles that we're recruiting for, we're really interested in kind of people to help us take this to the next level and build out our use of AWS and uh, other cloud technologies. So thank you. Questions? Can we ask questions directly to the chatbot? <laughs> That's always dangerous. Hello, my name is Aliona. So one quick question after your presentation. How do you guys do identity verifications for people that you open up accounts for online like this? Thanks. So that's one of the, probably the, the biggest questions for any digital bank right now is how, how to do that in a successful way. And I think um, last year we did introduce some new capabilities to do straight through uh, account opens, and that's really exciting. And we're continuing to invest in that, that technology, but it, it's not directly being leveraged with the AWS uh, solutions that we're, we're introducing and working on today. One more question. Can we call David McKay? Hmm? Was that his actual number up there? No, that's uh, that's just David. That's just a random number. No, it's the Slalom Consulting number. If you want to call them. <laughs> Thank you.